Hey everybody, welcome back. It's August 1st and in true back to school fashion, we're using highlighters, we're looking at data, we're wrapping up the summer and reflecting and we're celebrating and we wanted to say thank you. Thank you to everybody who trusted us the month of July. We came in at number eight out of a hundred agents that sold properties in July. So based on volume for Champaign County, we were number eight overall, and we were the number one independent realtor that sold volume-wise uh, the most property. So thank you so much for that. We love you, and we love being in your world and helping make your dreams come true. So for those of you who are still um, interested in the data and a couple of like foreshadowing things, so let's jump into it. So here we go, average sales price. When we look at Champaign County single family homes, last July, we were at 183,500 as the average sales price. This year in July of 2022, we were 205,000. So little kind of fun fact, on our team, we our average listing price is 308,000. So that's a big number, it's a big difference. And so we're proud of that. I just wanted to share it with you. So um, when we, I've got two charts and the reason that we're doing this with this kind of backlighting is because I want to show two charts laid on top of each other. And one of them is homes for sale. And then this chart beneath is homes that go under contract by month. So I pulled this data for the last five years. And when we look at history and what we can predict and anticipate for the next couple of months, this is a huge indicator. So when we put them on top of each other, what do you see? You see a peak and a valley, a peak and a valley, a peak and a valley, a peak and a valley. It doesn't matter that we had a COVID year in there. When we look at, now I'm gonna separate them. All right, there we go. So we'll get you the numbers later, but I really want you to see the visual, right? So houses that go under contract, the biggest months of properties that are going under contract are usually March, April, and in May. The lowest amount of houses in a month selling is usually in December. It's been December for the last five years. So this chart doesn't really move a whole lot, even though we were in a pandemic and going through COVID years, that's what this gap is right here. So I'm gonna use my highlighter and circle it for you, right? So this is homes for sale. We had in July of last year, 363 go under contract. And this year in July, we had 306. So the homes of, I'm sorry, that was homes available for sale. So we had a, a couple less go homes for sale this year than we did last year, but let's talk about it because there might be a little bit of an elephant in the room. Yes, this elephant is cute, but we need to talk about if you are thinking, when is the best time to sell? When is the best time to get my house on the market? Don't be fooled by these charts. Yes, you're gonna have the most buyers out there in the spring months, but the reality is there are still job transfers. There are still new babies being born and you need a bigger house. There are still, unfortunately, the opposite of that divorce that happens and you need to sell. So it, in this case, in this world, another dynamic is, do you wanna pull the equity out of your house and use that for something else by selling? So there are so many different variables that come into play as to when the right time is for you to sell. When we look at what's going to come down the plate or come down the pike in the next couple of months, if you want to avoid December and get your house in the market now, let's have those conversations and put a plan together that's best for you. So take this for what it's worth. Call me if you have any specific questions. And as always, have a great rest of the day. We'll see you soon.